First question is from Catherine Health Journey. What is the best way to progress to a full unassisted pistol sw- squat? Well, okay, assuming you can already do, Ooh. you know, two-legged squats with good form and you're strong and you could do barbell squats, the next in my opinion best way to do there's two exercises I really like. One is a one-legged get up off of a bench. So you sit on a bench, you have your legs bent, maybe one leg is straight, mm-hmm. and you use one leg to predominantly lift yourself up to kind of practice that single leg lift up. And then the second one is just stand on a box and with one leg off the box and squat down slowly and come back up and and progress yourself to be getting lower and lower. There's two things that uh, I love to use. And it, it depends on if you have a steep enough incline of stairs, but you know, it, it actually like acts as a natural kind of progression uh, to be able to get up off the stairs. So if you sit like a bit higher, oh yeah, and you lift you lift your leg up, and you can start a bit higher. You start there. Now gradually, like go to the next step, sit on that step, come back up, and kind of work your way down the stairs. Or you know, the the, the more obvious one, if you have um, suspension trainer straps, is to kind of hold on. And to gradually, um, sort of basically like training wheels. So you're you're lifting your leg up, and you're squatting down to the depth that you, you know, can control comfortably, and, and drive back up, and, and sort of gradually get rid of, um, you know, the suspension trainer to to help to pull you back up. Yeah, uh, I love the suspension trainer or what you said. Um, yeah. The only thing that I would I would say that when you're doing this is. When people are trying to learn how to do a, a pistol squat, they they get so hung up on being able to say, "I did a pistol squat," versus like really paying attention to the the form, the mechanics. Right. Um, it becomes a one legged anyhow squat. Yeah, yeah, and they kind of you know they kind of roll forward and that, into it. Yeah, yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose. I would rather see this. So if we were going to do the the one legged get up, like you said, I would take clients and I would put like remember those those blue blue foam pads, yeah. right? Yeah, and you make the bench higher. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'd start. I'd, I'd have I'd have a bench and then I'd stack one or two or however many I think to I'd because I could do I did this with clients that were eighty years old. So I would do it with anybody even in advanced age. This is a great exercise, and you just by regressing it or. or you add pads to regress the exercise. So I'd start really high and I would emphasize the, the the form, right? And sometimes I would I would let clients like even hold on to my fingers, right? And say, you know, you can hold on here. I want you to keep the chest up, slowly come down. I don't want you leaning mm-hmm. forward to get up. And I want to see like this perfect one-legged squat, even if it's a very short range of motion. And then mm-hmm. I get rid of one pad. And then we work on that till we get perfect form. And then we get rid of that pad and then you're down. And you work your way down that way until you get to like a pistol squat. If you have a suspension trainer, you can start all the way at the bottom and then you actually have some arms. The only thing that I say to caution you is that, you know, don't try and do a pistol squat and completely throw out the mechanics of it just so you can get a pistol squat out because right. then you lose a lot of the really good benefits of getting uh, doing a, a single-legged squat. Yeah, I well, agree. I also wanted to highlight one thing too that like uh, in terms of like ankle stability and mobility – um, to address, uh, making sure like, and so this is the whole knees over toe kind of a, a mentality where, you know, you are going to be in a position where your knees going to travel quite significantly further in order to counterbalance Great point. Uh, you into that position. A lot of people can't handle that kind of stress around the knee initially. So to be able to work on that and focus on like a combat stretch and really kind of gradually increase that range. So your knee travels a bit further forward and be able to have that comfortable feel be able to keep your heel down and and tracking uh to keep you stable is going to be a vital part. that's the number one reason why people have trouble with a pistol squat i'd say besides strength uh it's it's ankle mobility 100 yeah. percent. it's because you're you're there's a lot more angle flex uh, excuse me ankle flexion with a pistol squat than a traditional squat. Your knee is going to travel much further forward. And that's why that's why a pistol squat for me is almost impossible. I have such bad, such tight ankles in that particular position that and I'm strong enough, I could definitely lift my body weight with one leg. It's my ankle that gets in the way, and that's most people. Yeah. With yeah, most people, do, they can't do I, it. I couldn't do it until that. just recently, until I actually addressed which that wasn't the goal. The goal was related to a bilateral squat, right? I wanted to get into a yeah. deep squat and work on my squat and scroll position right so 
but I couldn't do a pistol until that. Once I could actually, once I had the ankle mobility, the pistol skull was actually really easy. Yeah. Because like you, I had the leg strength. You know, I had the leg strength to be able to do one-legged squats, but I didn't have the ankle mobility to be able to do it. So mm -hmm. that's probably, I mean, depending on who's asking this question, but I'd say most a people, big limiting factor. Yeah. Yes. Most yeah. people, that's the issue. Yeah. The and, issue. and by the way, again, back to my point of like the mechanics matter. If you do a pistol squat and your heel comes up off the ground, like you're you're doing it wrong. Like right. you do not want to you do not want the heel to rise. And if it is rising, then that's your issue is ankle mobility. Address that first. Really get good at that, and then start with the regressions that we're talking about and yeah. work your way to it.